This is the Sennheiser 100 G3 series. I'm going to take you through the menu and the setups. Hit set. We come up to exit. We have advanced, auto lock, AF out. You can name it. Frequency preset, easy setup, squelch, and sync. We're going to start with advanced. Push the advanced button, come up to exit. It tells you the software revision, reset, you can adjust the uh, LCD contrast. And here's Pilot Tone. What Pilot Tone does is it looks for a signal from the transmitter. And if there's no Pilot Tone coming from the transmitter, it will not output a signal. So you won't get that loud hissiness. So I leave Pilot Tone on all the time. Next, if you want to tune it by hand, hit the set button. You tune the left side, hit set, tune the right hit set. I have never used this and I'll show you how to set it up my way. What I do is I reset this because other people have used my mics or maybe I'm picking up an extra rental mic. I don't know what people have done with the settings. So I'm going to hit reset, go up to reset. Yes. So now I'm going to exit the advanced menu. All right, auto lock. That's to lock people from messing with the buttons. AF out. That's if you have a consumer camcorder. You know, the signal may be too hot, bring it down. It may be too weak, you can bring it up. It works fine using XLR, going straight to my P2 camera or my Shure mixer. So I leave it at zero. You can actually change these letters and name it. You can name it Mike One or, or Woman with Blue Dress or, you know, to keep it uh, separate, but I've never named it. Frequency Presets. I'm going to do this a different way. And Squelch. What Squelch does is it looks for a minimum signal. If it doesn't get anything, it will cut off um, the noise so you won't hear tape hiss. You can set this to low, medium, and high simply by hitting the set button, middle, high. I keep it at low because if someone's talking quietly, hey, it's better than nothing. So here's what I do. We go to easy setup, hit enter. Now the current list should be zero because I reset to factory defaults, but whenever you get on your location, go to scan new list. It's scanning a new list. This will take uh, about a minute. There's a couple things I should tell you. Do not have an iPhone in your pocket as you're doing this. Make sure it's three feet away. And also, don't do it real close to some big uh, LCD monitors. All right, you want to be away from things and away from interference. However, if you do it away from interference and then you come down and you're uh, mixing audio right next to a big monitor, or you have your cell phone sitting right next to this, that could cause you problems. So make sure you know you have a two or three foot area where there's no other electronics. Um, the mixer, if you have a Sure mixer or any other mixer, they really don't put out any interference for wireless mics. So we're almost done. We've scanned a list here. And we're just about at the end of the scan. OK, when it's done scanning, it pops up and shows you uh, the frequencies that are available. There's hundreds and hundreds of frequencies, and what they've done is divided up into different banks. Bank 8, there's 11 free frequencies. Bank 7, there's 8. Bank 6, there's 4. 5, there's 9 free frequencies. And so on and so on. And you can see you just have several, several banks. But what I usually do, if it comes up and say in Bank 8, that's what I'm going to go with. Because maybe they're the cleanest. Maybe they have the most. There's 11 free. So I'm going to set bank 8. And now I get to go through 1 through 11. And I'll pick uh, frequency number 8 in bank 8. You could pick any number you want. You could go through, pick a different bank. So now we're going to hit exit. We don't need easy setup. Squelch, I've already gone over it. Sync is what we do last. Advanced, we've been through. And locking. So here's what we do now. I want to show you one other thing. Let's say bank 
This shows you uh, it's on bank 8, frequency 8. Let's say you're having trouble. You can go in and say, okay, I'll stick to bank 8, but I'm going to move to frequency number 5, which is 52375. We'll go with that one. Because you've taken some hits, you've done a little test, and so you want to uh, mix it up. And let's say you want to get far away from bank 8, that's cool. Bank 5 has 10 frequencies. Let's go to bank 5. Let's pick number, well, number 6, because I was born in 56. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old dude. Okay. Uh, so that's where we're at. Now, the last thing we have to do is sync. So here's what we do. You turn on your transmitter. And this is infrared right here, sender and receiver. And this is infrared right here. I'm going to hold the two infrareds close to each other. And I'm going to hit set. Now watch the sync button. We'll have a big check mark by it. All right. That check mark means it sent the frequency to the transmitter. And it came back and it locked to it. So let's uh, exit. And look at our numbers, 546200. Look over here, 546200. It, set, it sent the frequency here, and this uh, responded back saying, I got it, and now it's a perfect match. So now do some tests, make sure everything's working fine. Let's take a quick look at the transmitter that goes with the uh, receiver we just went through. Hit the set button, and the menu sensitivity, exit, it just loops around. Advanced, auto lock, name, frequency presets, sensitivity again. So we'll go to advanced. And again, what I like to do in advanced is hit reset. This way it goes back to factory resets. You don't know who's been messing with the mic, what buttons they've been playing with. Just go to factory reset. You'll stand a better chance at having a successful day. You can adjust the contrast. Pilot tone, we talked about pilot tone on the uh, receiver. Cable uh, emulation, I leave it at factory default minimum. Mute mode. I always disable the mute mode. Here's the mute button. You're going to have a speaker. They take a five minute break. He's going to reach down and hit mute. And then you're not going to have anything and you have no idea how many times it's ruined my day. So I'm going to disable that button. All right, disabled. You can tune this uh, by simply going in and picking out the left half of the frequency and then the right half. I have never used this. I always let the receiver select an open frequency and then I do the uh, sync to this. So I find no need to uh, tune it, but you may need to someday. And then we exit. Auto lock, that's to lock the on off buttons. You can play with that if you like. I don't find the need to use it. Name it, you can name it. You really don't have to. Frequency presets, this is a lot like the receiver, but I'm going to sync this to the receiver, so I really don't go in here, but you can just go in and pick out one of the uh, signals or one of the channels that they've selected. Sensitivity, that's for the mic. Perhaps someday you're going to plug in a different mic, or you have a real weak speaker. So the factor default is minus 30, and I do believe it goes up to 60 and down to zero. So if you just happen to have somebody with a giant booming voice that's just killing you, you can turn the sensitivity down. And that has actually happened to me. Just this person, just a big, huge, giant voice, and I just cut it in half, and that seemed to work best. And then the exit. And that's all there is to it. You know, we've been through the advanced auto lock, naming it, Frequency presets, sensitivity, exit. It's real simple. Just make sure you sync it. Make sure you check your numbers on your transmitter and receiver. Make sure they're both matching. And good luck to you.